what's going on you guys how's it going welcome back to the channel thank you guys so much for tuning back into another video in today's video i'm going to be going over my season standing predictions now this is going to be a little bit different because i'm not going through who's going to be 32nd 31st 30th 29th and so on and so forth i have a i have a graphic that shows my divisions kind of rankings so i'm going to be doing one to eight in each divisions instead of doing each kind of prediction of the league i think it can get a little bit crazy and a little bit just chaotic if we're going the whole entire league that's where you get some kind of lopsidedness and probably me being really really wrong i feel like if i just go by divisions it's more fun and just a better way to look at how kind of my rankings go i think i just rambled on and none of that made any sense but you guys will see what i'm talking about so the graphic I made, I actually posted on my Instagram. So if you guys want to go over and take a look at that, I will have a link in the top of the description. You guys can go over to my Instagram. I will be doing some posts kind of like this general kind of sports designs like this. I'm going to be also doing some Jersey rankings kind of graphics like this as well. So you guys can see that my goal here is to kind of connect my Instagram and YouTube and kind of share some content. So I posted this there and now I'm making a video about it on my YouTube and just kind of crossing them together into being almost like the same universe in a sense. I figure it's the best way for me to have content for both. And of course, before we get into it, as always, if you guys are new to the channel, it would mean a lot if you guys subscribed and liked the video if you enjoyed. Let's get into this. So I have the graphic up on the screen here. You guys can see I created this graphic. This is this is my predictions. Now let's go through it because I know you guys can see the whole thing and I know it's a lot, but let's slowly digest this. Let's start off with the Pacific where I have the Edmonton Oilers in first. I do think the Oilers have gotten better and I do think they will be better. I think Vegas is still going to be really good. I have them in second place in the Pacific. I think Vegas is still going to be really good, but I think after that long playoff run, you know, the summer that they're going to have, the celebrations they're going to have, I could see them just coming into the season and just being on autopilot and finishing second in the division. You know what I mean? Like they're not gunning for that first spot. I think in their eyes, it's let's get to the playoffs. Business starts kind of like what Tampa Bay has been like. So I could totally see Vegas finishing in second. I have Seattle in third in the Pacific. I think Seattle is just a very underdog team. Seattle was kind of hard for me because this Pacific, let's be honest here, is probably one of the hardest. I think the one, two are locked in any order. You could have Vegas first, Edmonton first, doesn't matter. This is just how I have it. But I think that three, four, five, and six could be completely interchanged in my opinion. I think it could go either way. Seattle had a lot of overachievers last season. And I think a lot of guys who played better than they typically you they typically would normally but i i don't think that's necessarily true and i think next year they're going to kind of replicate what they did last year i think they're still going to have a really good season i think why i put them third is because i think la kind of drops off i am a little bit worried about la i'm worried about their goaltending their goaltending is not ideal i think their defense is pretty good i think their forward group is pretty solid it's pretty deep i do worry a little bit about dubois fitting into this system i know la has kind of been like and i could be wrong I, I may be wrong here but i'm pretty sure la kind of plays that very defensive get the lead protect the lead kind of defensive style i don't know how well dubois is going to play under that system so i'm surprised that he went there and then signed long term without even playing a game He's had struggles playing defense and being a defensive forward in the past. So we'll see how that goes. But I do see them kind of taking a hit. Again, like these these could be interchanged. The Canucks, I could just be a homer here and just riding high. But I really do think they are going to improve. I think they will improve from last year. I like the additions we made on defense. I like the forward depth we have. We just need guys to come together and play the way they're supposed to play. And I could see this team getting that wildcard spot. As you can see in the Pacific, I actually have both teams in the wildcard from the Pacific. I got four and five making it no wild card spots over in the central you have calgary in six now i just think i like calgary may be in sixth place here in my standings but i don't think it's going to be like a for sure they're in sixth place like i think there's going to be one to two points three points maybe four separating calgary at six and seattle at three that's how kind of close i feel like those four spots are going to be and then last two, you do have Anaheim and San Jose. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. No offense to those teams. I just don't really see them taking, obviously, a step to try to even compete for the playoffs. I think they are bottom feeders. I do think there will be a bit of a point difference between Anaheim and San Jose, though. I think San Jose is going to be bad, bad. And I think Anaheim is going to take like a little step forward. Not a lot, but they will take a little step forward. I could actually see that San Jose team taking a step back. So I think there will be a bit of a point differential there. 
in the central have the dallas stars i think the dallas stars are the real deal i actually could see the dallas stars winning the president's trophy uh they are that good i think they're going to be a top five top three team in the nhl when all said and done i really like that team i think colorado is another team that's kind of like vegas kind of like tampa they're just trying to ride out the season make it to the playoffs like they want to just get to the playoffs and get going i think the regular season I don't want to say it means nothing to them, but I mean, they've won it all already. So they just want to get back to that. I have the Minnesota Wild in three. I think Minnesota is the funniest team because they have been a lock at like third in the central. What feels like forever, they've kind of been hovering around that same pace for such a long time. When they get to the playoffs, they just can't do anything. I feel so bad for Minnesota Wilds fans. At least you guys have a good team to watch during the regular season. Now, a shocker here, I do have the St. Louis Blues in fourth. I do think the St. Louis Blues are kind of slept on. They took a step back last year, and sure, they played really bad last year. And I know their defense is still a little bit iffy, and their goaltending could be iffy as well. But I think they have a really deep forward group. They added Kevin Hayes, they got Kapanen, they got Verana, who having a full season of Jacob Verana, I think that dude could actually pop off for St. Louis. So they just need... Bennington, Hofer to kind of carry their weight. They need the defense to improve a bit. I could see this team actually fighting for that wild card spot. Like I said, I don't have a wild card spot in the central, so I do see them just barely missing out. But I mean, they're going to be fighting for it. The National Predators are funny. I have them in fifth in the central. They're like a team that remind me of my team, the Vancouver Canucks, where they're in the middle. Like, I think they're just a real solid middle team, middle of the pack. I don't think they're going to be making the playoffs. I don't think they're going to be bottom of the league. I think they're in the middle. And what's weird about them is they look like a team that was going to sell and try to do a quick rebuild maybe, but then they signed O'Reilly and they made these signing sets. And like Luke Shen, for example, that's like, why are you doing stuff like this? Like, O'Reilly's going to help you maybe win a couple games. I think this is a team that should be embracing the tank. Now, the Winnipeg Jets, I have in six in the central. This might be a little bit low for them, but I am really not trusting what's going on there in that locker room. I think they have a lot of players that could want to leave and do want to leave Winnipeg. I could see at some point this team just completely blowing it up. Winnipeg's such an iffy one for me because I think if they play well and all the players on this team, they have good defense. They have Hellebuck, one of the best goalies in the league. Their forward group is not bad. I think if they click, they could be up there in third in the central. I really do think they could be battling Minnesota for third in the central. Like that's how good the potential of this team is. But if they go off to a bad start and then Shifley saying he wants to leave, Hellebuck's on his last year so he could get traded and things start to spiral, I could see it getting really ugly. Then we have the last two teams here. We got the Arizona Coyotes and the Chicago Blackhawks. I, again, just like the Pacific, seeing a pretty big kind of point gap between these two teams. I see Arizona actually taking a step forward. I could see Chicago maybe taking a little step forward because of Bedard, but it's not going to be a lot. Like, I still see this team being a bottom three team in the NHL, which is going to be good for them. They're going to be adding some sick prospects again and rebuilding and adding more, not rebuilding, but building onto that current prospect pool they have. I said over to the east, we got the Metro, and I think this is a no-brainer. I do have that New Jersey Devils team in first place. I think they've built themselves kind of a Toronto Maple Leafs team in the sense that they are a really good regular season team. I'm not saying they're bad in the playoffs because, I mean, hey, they did all right in the playoffs last year. They just met a really, really good team. But I do think they have a perfect kind of regular season team where you can have fun and just let your skills win you games. You can't really do that so much in the playoffs. And I think they have a lot of skilled players and they just have a lot of fun in the regular season where they can win these kind of games. I have the Carolina Hurricanes in two. I think this is a no brainer. They are just an all well-rounded team. I genuinely wouldn't even be surprised if they were first in this division. Like I do think they could swap with New Jersey. I think that's just how good Carolina is as well. And then we got the New York Rangers in three, and I don't think being in third shows anything about their skill. I still think the Rangers have an unreal team. In fourth, I got the Pittsburgh Penguins. I actually do see them sneaking into that playoff position, mainly because I just don't have a lot of hope in the teams under them. And I do think Carlson will definitely help them. Their defense does look pretty solid. They just are lacking depth. They can't have injuries. Like if Malkin, God forbid, Cindy Crosby gets hurt, Genzel, like they're going to be lacking some depth for sure. And I think Genzel's actually out for the start of the season. So that's definitely going to hurt them too. In five, I have the New York Islanders. They're kind of a team like my team and a team like how I see the National Predators where they're just a middle team. I got them in fifth. They're a middle of the pack team. I'm just not really vibing with what they got going over there. Obviously, I could be wrong, but Horvat could tear it up. Him and Barzell could light it up. Who knows? Like, I mean, they got Sorokin, so it's super hard to count them out. But I just... I feel like I got more faith in Pittsburgh. 
In six, we got the Washington Capitals, a team that I genuinely don't have a lot of high hopes for, though they have some depth and they still have like a good core. Like you can't count out Ovi, can't count out Wilson, Oshi. Like these guys can still do stuff and they can still play hockey really well. I do genuinely still see them kind of being like that. Honestly, probably a pretty similar season to last year. Then you have the bottom two, you have the Columbus Blue Jackets and Philadelphia Flyers. Now I sound like a broken record here, but again, I see there's a big point difference here. I see Columbus getting better and I see Philly getting worse. Just the same as the last couple teams we talked about in the other divisions. I could see Columbus taking a step forward this year, trying to get better, still not being there, but getting better. And then I could see the Philadelphia Flyers just getting worse. Last division here, we got the Atlantic. I do have the Toronto Maple Leafs. Again, the Toronto Maple Leafs are in just a perfect regular season team. This team is just made for the regular season, much like New Jersey. I think the additions they made are really good. I think Domi's a solid middle six forward. You can play him on your second line. You can play him on your third. And heck, if you even had to play him on your first, he can put up some production. I think Bertuzzi is heavily underrated here on this team. I think Bertuzzi has a lot of offensive upside that a lot of people aren't looking at here. I think their defense is iffy though. They definitely are iffy. Signing Klingberg, I don't think is a great choice. Klingberg is uh, just a strictly offensive defenseman, which I don't really think the Toronto Maple Leafs are needing. He has zero defensive ability. So that's definitely an iffy signing to me. I have the Tampa Bay Lightning in second place. Uh, I, I found it really hard to rank the rest of this Metro because like the Pacific, I can see number two to number five being interchanged anywhere. I could see Florida up where Tampa is. I could see Tampa where Tampa is now. I could see Boston there. I could see Buffalo there. It really is super hard for me to rank these middle, this middle group here, but I do have the Tampa Bay Lightning edging it out in second here, strictly because they've had a full off season here to regroup and kind of rest. I mean, I know they were in the playoffs and lost in round one, but still, you know what I mean? Like, before they were going to cup final cup final cup final they were probably gassed i think this summer break that they have had a full, pretty much a full summer break they're gonna have a full rested vasileski i think this team's actually gonna come out next year and play like a regular season team again before they kind of just were riding the wave you know just get into the playoffs and then they'd go to the cup final i think here they're actually gonna put in a really solid uh, uh regular season season here and third, I have the Buffalo Sabres. I, for whatever reason, like this team. I know there's always kind of people who jump in the rankings and there's always different standing predictions. This is kind of my hot take is having them in third. I could, however, even see them in fifth where Florida is right now. Like it totally varies. This is just for whatever reason, my gut feeling. I got the Boston Bruins in fourth strictly because their center depth is poor. Their center depth is terrible, but I do think their wingers help carry them. And I think their defense is really good. And of course they have the best tandem in net. So I genuinely think that the goaltending and defense with the wingers are gonna carry and pick up the lack of centers and they're still gonna be a playoff team. Then in fifth, I have the Florida Panthers. Now I may be selling them a little bit short, but like I said, I think anywhere in that range could be changed. I just don't really have a lot of faith. They barely made the playoffs last year. The only reason they went to the cup final is because they had an unreal run of goalies. Like Bobrovsky just played unbelievable. And I mean, if he plays like he normally does, you see what happens. Like with the finals, for example, they just get picked apart. Their defense is super iffy to me. And like I said, I think their goaltending is not ideal. Now, a team a lot of people have really high and even making the playoffs, honestly, two of them is the Ottawa Senators and the Detroit Red Wings. I have both finishing in sixth and seventh. Only reason being, I think they have solid teams. I mean, it's just hard to see it until they prove it. You know what I mean? Like, it's one of those things where I just want to see it and then I'll start believing in them. At the moment, I just think the teams above them have proved more. Obviously, other than Buffalo, I just have a gut feeling on them. But I think the other teams, Tampa, Boston, and Florida, have proved more than those two teams recently. So I'm kind of going off recency bias here and choosing those teams over teams like Detroit and Ottawa. Though I do see them having a potential kind of resurgence and playing better. And genuinely, I think this division I made here in the Atlantic could be my worst prediction. I think we could be seeing a lot of swaps. I mean, I wouldn't even be surprised if Detroit and Ottawa were up there in fourth and fifth, or even Ottawa in third where Buffalo is. Like, I genuinely think this is probably my worst prediction when it comes to a division. I just, it's just my gut feeling, man. 
And then I have the Habs in eighth. Again, who I actually see kind of getting better, better than they were last year. I genuinely think every team in this division is not going to be like a bottom five team. I could see the Habs actually finishing like bottom six, maybe bottom five, but I do see them actually playing a little bit better than they did last year. So there you guys have it. That is my standing predictions. Well, pretty much my division predictions for next NHL season. We are about like three to two weeks away from preseason hockey, which I'm super excited about. I think the Canucks play September 24th. It's a Sunday at five o'clock against Calgary. I'm watching it. It's supposed to be aired. We'll see if it is, but I'm pumped for hockey to get back you guys and actually have some stuff to talk about and just to watch hockey again. I'm super excited. Again, thank you guys so very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments what your guys' thoughts are on my bracket. How many do you guys disagree with? What do you agree with? Let me know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.